If you're a fan of the movie Jaws, then this video is for you. If you're terrified of that iconic film, well, the good news is that after this video, you'll probably be okay watching it, since there's nothing scarier than seeing the real thing. Yeah, you guessed it right. Today, we're going to see the top seven shark encounters that will really terrify you. Are you ready for a dip in the cold, unfriendly water? Well, let's go then. Number one is very bitey indeed. In 2015, somebody posted this terrifying video that was filmed on the coast of South Africa. It was put right up on YouTube, showing not one but two great white sharks maniacally biting everything they can find. These sharks appeared seemingly out of nowhere. You can hear the horrified voices of the boat's passengers as they try to figure out if they are in danger or not. By the end of the video, you can see the second shark doing a little dancing move just to make sure everybody knows he's still there, lurking. <sighs> so how you holding up? Hey, things are only going to get worse as we move forward, so grab your seat, grab your friend, grab a pet, grab something in any case because you're about to be freaked out. Don't say we didn't warn you. Number two, should I put a filter on this or? You know, some people go above and beyond and take the perfect selfie, but we have to admit this particular one, since it was made for a good cause, was worth it. This photographer from Denmark spotted a shark off the coast of Guadalupe, and he decided it was a good idea to go out of the cage and snap a selfie with the magnificent beast. Now, a lot of you will think he did it because he'd get all these likes on social media, but the truth is he did it in order to raise awareness of the fact that sharks rarely bite people, and then when they do, it's because they've mistaken them for something else. The photographer is also the director of the Dutch Shark Society and wanted to have something to prove to people his claims are valid and that they have almost nothing to fear. Brave man. Number three, rock, rock, rock your boat, not gently down the ocean. Julie Wolf might as well be renamed to Julie Shark because after her encounter, we're sure she has a completely different idea about the seawater and the amazing beasts that live inside. She was happily relaxing in her canoe off the coast of California when she started feeling a little bit of rocking on the canoe. Could it be a rock? Could it be her imagination? <laughs> Why, no, it's a shark and a great white shark to be more exact. Now, this isn't one of those stories where she saw the shark, marveled at its beauty and everything was calm and pretty. The shark actually started biting at her canoe and Julie managed to escape by frantically guiding it to shore just before it started sinking. Wow, just wow. Hey, we're in the middle of the video, so it's a good time to take a break from all this terror and remind you to look at all the other top tens on our channel. And yes, yeah, some of them are a little friendlier. And show your support. Hey, like the video and then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. You ready to continue? Take a deep breath and let's go. Number four is shark fishing, and not a good idea. Apart from the ethical reasons why shark fishing is not a superbly good idea, with this video we have another way more practical reason why you should definitely avoid it and just go play chess instead or basket or anything, really. This man was trying his hand at shark fishing when the shark he got started reacting to the idea of being caught. And when a shark reacts, you know it's going to be trickier than any other fish. The man is giving it his all to catch the shark, but the shark also giving it his all not to be caught. In this intense standoff, the shark wins, pulls the man in the water, where friends are also roaming around. The story might have had a good ending for the man because he managed to escape, but oh, it could get so much worse so fast. Hey, we've made it to the top three. Are you ready to see if we really kept the scariest shark encounters for the last? Because let me tell you a secret, we definitely did. 
Come on, my brave one. We're almost to the end. Number five, if you can't eat it, pee on it. That's this shark's life's motto. And we ought to respect it, as weird as it sounds, because these divers didn't know about the motto and they went in the cage in order to see up close what it's like to have a huge shark close to you. Well, they got more than they bargained for since the shark decided it was time for a little pee pee and left a humongous yellow cloud of pee engulfing the divers. We don't want to know if they could smell it or taste it or what they did with it. We just wanted that yellow nightmare to end. There you have it, a horror you never thought about when it comes to a shark and now it's in your mind forever. You're most welcome, dear friends. Number six, kiss kiss, bite bite. Whoever thought that shark kissing is a good idea should probably go hug a tree and chill out. I mean, do you think we're being unkind? Well, watch the video and let us know what you think about these humans who have a kiss the shark expedition or whatever the, hmm, whatever this is. The diver decides he's better than his other fellow shark kissers and doesn't go for a gentle kiss on the shark's back, but he goes straight for a French kiss. Yeah, we don't know why either. This shark would have none of this sexual harassment though, and instead of just giving lips, he gives some teeth as well. How did you like that kiss, Mr. Diver Lover? Number seven, no, that's not a salmon. A father and son decided to go catch some salmon and have a nice dinner afterward. All seems well with this idea. The problem though is a shark decided to catch some for itself too. While the salmon took the bait and the father was ready to reel it back to the boat, the shark decided it's not going to let dinner go without a fight, so it collides with the boat in a desperate attempt not to lose its food. Weirdly enough, because we're not sure if it was bravery at that point or just mechanical moves, the father did not let go of the salmon, making the shark take his loss and go back home, sad and salmonless. Man versus shark? Man won, shark nothing. Hey, there you have it for today. These were the top seven shark encounters that we've gathered for you. And now it's time to hear from you. Which one did terrify you the most and why? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget, if you haven't already, and shame on you if you haven't, give us that like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.